Dr. Upton, just a few further points. Yes, sir. Did you apply for a job at your own hospital? Yes, sir. Uh, which was? Uh... St. Swithin's. <laughs> well, we won't hold that against you. Now, you applied for which job? The junior houseman's job on the dean's firm. So you don't really want this job? Oh, yes. Ye yes, I do, sir. But don't you think you'll get the dean's job? I don't know. The dean did hint that I stand quite a good chance of getting it. I see. Good at rugger, then, are you? Yes, sir. Well, <laughs> quite. We're all familiar with the Dean of St. Swithin's system of good rugger play a good job. Only we at All Saints are looking for surgeons. Uh, what position do you play? A uh, wing three quarters, sir. Well, we need a wing three, you know. <laughs> well, that all seems very satisfactory. And you really mean to go in for surgery, do you? Oh, yes, sir. I know it's tough at first, but it's always been my ambition. I mean, I, I don't think surgery will ever replace preventive medicine as the best solution of all, but, well, I do have a kind of feeling for it. And after all, in these days of transplants and so on, I think the operating theatre is the most exciting place to be. Excellent. That's the kind of spirit I like to see in my house, surgeons. I think we'd all agree on that, eh? Very well, then. I think Dr. Bryce Derry, our chairman, would like to ask you a few questions. Now, Dr. Upton, you are certain that you really want to work in our hospital? Yes, sir. You have been qualified a little over a week, I believe. Yes, sir. You're a member of the Medical Defense Union, I take it? Uh, definitely, sir. And of the BMA? Y yes, sir. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, sir. Uh, I mean, uh, madam, I, uh, I, I didn't realize. I mean, you do look like. Uh, no, not you. <laughs> what I mean is, uh, it, well, it's obvious now. Uh, I. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, there's nothing here, Paul, not a thing. This one's two years old. A couple of ads for second hand cars, not even a locum. Um, either of you two fancy an ear, nose, and throat locum? ENT. No, thanks. I want a general surgery job. Yeah, well, but it's a nice, easy job to start off with. Plenty of time off. Yeah, well, thanks for the information, but uh, not really. No, I can't say I blame you, honestly. Oh, hell. Excuse me. Plenty of time off, eh? Any hospital jobs in there? Oh, hospitals, hospitals, hospitals. Oh, here's something. Oh, yes, this is it. Listen. Junior hospital doctor, surgery, pre-registration, two and a half thousand a year. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, listen. Apply Hospital Board of Governors, St. Stephen's Hospital, Victoria Street, Uganda. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Oh. Oh. Hey, this looks interesting. Uh, GP Locum Wimbledon. Quite fancy, this. Oh, sorry, Mike, do you want it? No, I don't want to do general practice. Oh, well, there's always ENT. No, I don't want to work in ENT. I don't think looking up noses all day is teaching me enough. Well, you can't afford to be all that choosy, you know. Someone's got to pick noses, haven't they? <laughs> morning, morning. Morning. Hello, Dick. Now, what's the matter with him, Paul? No job. Oh, come on. You'll get the job on the Dean's firm. You're the best wing three quarter he's got. It's not really like that. Now, who else will get it? Bingham. That creep, Lawrence Bingham. You're joking. Well, he did get the surgery prize. Yes, but A, he doesn't play rugger. B, he's got spots. And C, he's a pain in the arteries. Anyway, <laughs> come and have a drink because I've got the most fantastic thing to tell you. Last night, I bumped into a chap who turned out to be a Harley Street doctor. And I happened to mention that I was looking for a job and, uh, well, he's taken me on. It's fantastic. Mm, Specialises in dermatology. But you don't know anything about skins. Well, who does? Three pints, Harry. Hey, what's the money like? Oh, it's not really Harley Street to discuss money. 
Well, I would think it's a case of good morning, Your Ladyship. Yes, that's definitely a wart you've got there. Ding, ten guineas, please. <laughs> oh, God, here's Bingham. Oh. I say, I've just heard there's a fantastic pancreatic cyst down in surgery. Uh, and a perforated DU as well. <laughs> of course, he's pretty ill, but I reckon he should last and we've all had a good squint at him. <laughs> you ought to be clean. <laughs> I mean, you haven't got a job yet, have you? Ah, uh, well, actually. Have you? Oh, good Lord, no. No, no. I mean, not actually. But, I mean, uh, quality tells, so... <laughs> I said, uh, did I tell you I was in casualty yesterday and there's enormous great liver wart in How many legs did it have? <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute must to run your fingers over. Oh, really? Was there a patient around it? Well, well, you see, that is the interesting thing about working in a teaching hospital like St. Swithers. You get to see all the interesting patients. You, uh, you're you fixed up all right, are you? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, uh, well, you'll probably get the dean's job first, 15 and all that, eh? It's <laughs> not like that. Oh, I'm sorry, no offence. In any case, we're all bound to find out at the dean's dinner tonight, aren't we? Hey, what about you, Dick? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, actually, I've got in as an assistant to a dermatologist in Harley Street, a Dr. Lunsden. Lunsden? Mm. Harley Street? No, I've never mm. heard of him. Oh, well, Harley Street isn't really your area, is it, old boy? I say, Bingham, yeah. I've just heard that an enormous thyroid has just flown in from the States. Good Lord, really? Yes, it's down in Patrick Snooth Ward. Gosh, I mustn't miss that. Yes, yes, his name's Parker. Parker? Yes. Uh, Commodore Parker is a rather bad-tempered old gentleman with piles. <laughs> They're an absolute must to run your fingers over. <laughs> well, <there's one. laughs> and in conclusion, gentlemen, I'd say this has been a particularly good year for the hospital, in that we have uh, achieved uh, one of our greatest uh, uh, achievements, which we have all been striving for since 1923. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After a long struggle, after a great deal of hard work and trial and error, we have discovered here at St. Swithin's that we are capable of winning the Inter-Hospitals Rugby Cup. Yeah. <laughs> yes, well, I think that's really all I've got to say, other than, uh, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I congratulate you all on qualifying and welcome you most heartily to the profession. <laughs> this farmer, you see, and he had this fantastic rooster. I find this dinner sickening. I mean, look at them all crawling all over the senior consultant for jobs. Just look at that. <laughs> well, some of us don't need to. Hmm? I got that job at Wimbledon. Great. Anyway. This nun says to the giraffe, look, Bingham. And the giraffe said, well, that's a dirty habit. <laughs> <laughs> to which the nun replied, no, no, it was the African who said, no, it was the nun. I, I, I remember. Shall we repair to the bar? <laughs> Mike, I think this is it. Uh, Upton. Oh, Upton, I was jolly pleased to see that you applied to be my junior houseman. Oh, uh, were you, sir? Yes, win three-quarter like you? My word, yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, we're not doing too badly. I've got two of the front row into midwifery. <laughs> I'm hoping to wangle a scrum half into the geriatric. <laughs> so, one way or another, things are looking up nicely. <laughs> well, that sounds marvellous, sir. Oh, no, yes, indeed. Uh, but, uh, well, there it is. Sir? A wing three like you. I mean, I asked, but, uh, well, there you are. I, uh, haven't got the job, sir. Yes, I know. <laughs> Bingham, you see, surgical prize and all that. No choice. Damn shame. Yes, sir. Still, if you're, if you're set on surgery, you could always go on training with the first 15, and then in six months' time, I could get rid of that blasted Bingham, and you could take his place. <laughs> That's a dirty oh, habit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello yeah. Michael. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, congratulations. Yes. Best man won. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Well, uh, <coughs> I... Uh... <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Mike, I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh. I've got to go to work. You've got the job. Yes, um, only a locum. Great, in what? Um, surgery. Marvellous, who's firm? If you must know, I'm the junior houseman in ear, nose and throat. Oh, dear. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Lots of experience. Look, I've got to go to work now. I'll see you in the bar tonight. All right, uh, seven o'clock. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, good luck. Thanks, and you. Hey, you haven't seen Professor Nevin, have you? Yes. Oh, where? Yes, I haven't seen him. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Upton. Look, you haven't seen Professor Nevin, have you? I want to borrow one of his abdomens for my students. I always think the abdomen's a good thing to start them off on. No, I haven't seen Professor Nevin. Uh, but I did see the most fantastic abdomen. Signs, symptoms, the lot. Where? Well, here and... Uh... No, 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 I mean, which ward? <laughs> uh, third floor. Third floor. Just along from the noisy chest. The noisy chest? <laughs> Where? Along from the foot. The foot. Which foot? The left one, I the think. Left foot. Uh, yeah. No, right. The right foot. Oh, and I do believe it was downstairs from the abdomen. Downstairs from the abdomen. Oh, that's marvellous. Thank you very much, Michael. Right, come along, you lot. Follow me and cut out the chat. <laughs> oh, Michael. Uh, Michael. But that chap Parker, Collier, said. Oh, me to I see. don't know anything about that. Well, I didn't think much of his thyroids, but his piles are worth looking at. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Mike. You ready to go? Emergency? No, no, no. Just sister telling me I'm late. Shut up, you old bag. <laughs> you ever done any ENT before? A long time ago. Oh, nothing to it, really. Just a matter of looking in ears, up noses, and down throats. Morning, sister. Dr. Arnold, could I have a word with you, please? Thank you. Comfortable, Dr. Upton? Yes, yes, thank you. Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, yes, please. Perhaps a biscuit? Mm, don't mind. <laughs> well, you can have them when you've dealt with the 20 patients that are waiting outside. When you are ready for your first patient, you press that button. Coffee, indeed. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Doctor. It's my Jennifer here. Uh, can I just take the particulars first, please? Your name? Jennifer Geach. Hello, Jenny. Jennifer. Yes. Uh, occupation? Eh? Oh, a uh, schoolgirl. Right. Have you ever suffered from fits, fainting, heart... You, you haven't got time to go through all that. You're not a student now, you know. I'm charging my patient. Oh, do get on. Well, what seems to be the trouble? She's had a very bad nosebleed, Doctor. Terrible it was. Um, <laughs> when was this? On her way to school this morning. It stopped while we was waiting in the queue. Good. Well, I'll uh, just take a quick look at it, if you'll come in here. Jenny? I'm just going to put this up your nose. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> just to help me to see. Oh. What, sorry? oh, what do you want to move for? The doctor has been ever so careful. Now it started again. Oh, uh, yes. Well, I'll just to get the um, thing. Um. <laughs> Nosebleeds come from the same tiny area in the nose. We, <laughs> we call it Little's area, and uh, usually, uh, if the nose is held like this, nine times out of ten, it'll stop the bleed. <laughs> uh, uh, usually. In most cases, there is the odd time when. Uh... Doctor, your next patient is waiting in booth five. Thank you, Nash. That's just... <laughs> Nine times out of ten. Ah. Uh... Oh. oh, thank you, Doctor. Yes, well, if it ever happens again, just uh, bring her along. If you care to wait under there, the nurse will, um... Good morning. Your next patient is in booth five, Doctor. Yes, right. Um, will you excuse me? 
Oh, mate, how's it going? Oh, f fine, fine. Good, good. Morning. It's the uh, throat, wasn't it? So, have a look. Right, would you, uh, would you open wide? Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Yes, um, fine. Would you uh, gargle with that, please? Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Ah, uh, yes, that's looking uh, a lot better. I'll just uh, take a swab. Oh, it doesn't hurt. There we are. That's it. Like this. Grant, thank you very much. Come back in a fortnight, would you? Thank, thank you. you. Good, good. Carry on pumping. <laughs> well, uh, that's my lot nearly done. Yeah, Mike, when you finish with your patients, why don't you join me for a game of cards in the common room? Could do with some fresh money. Yeah, that's better than me. Good morning. Good morning, Doctor. A fish butler. Yes. I see. Yes. Right, head back a bit. Open wide. Say, <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Seems to have gone and probably scratched you a bit. Uh, Gargle, right, would you? going to put this up your nose. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, sir, I've always fainted in both one. It's starting again. Oh. What is going on? Oh, I spit it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, fine, fine. Just so many of them. I'm whacked. And this ruddy thing. You know, I was beat twice in the middle of lunch and once in the loo. Oh, you'll get used to that. I remember a very embarrassing occasion just after I'd qualified. I thought I'd finally made it with Nurse Willett. We were in her room in the nurse's hostel, you know, just getting down to, um, well, you know, when suddenly, bleep, Oh, no. Oh, yes. And exactly the same thing happened a week later to old Thompson. Willie went berserk. Kicked his bleep in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must be off. Oh, Lord, is that the time? I'm supposed to be meeting Collier here at seven. Well, good luck. See you. Have a look at your notes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brisket? Ah, uh, uh, my son. The Reverend Brisket. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, Reverend Brisket, you seem to have been to quite a lot of hospitals. What exactly is the trouble? Well, I was just passing, and I thought perhaps that some of you lot might like to have a look at me. I've never been here before. <laughs> you were just passing? Yes, well, actually, you see, the trouble is it's the pain. It's on the move again. It's in the nose. In the nose? Yes, well, when I say the nose, I mean that it starts there, and then it moves over there, and it goes in there, and it sort of worms its way right through and, and comes out here and ends up there. Usually when I'm singing and not only on Sundays. Oh, dear, well, we'd better have a look at it. Would you come oh, and... Oh, good, good. I'd like that. Yes. <clears throat> Down there, that's it. I reckon you know that the cause of the trouble is the high notes. When I'm down here... Oh. <laughs> it's perfectly all right. But when I go up top... <laughs> it's on the move again. 
see. We'll just have a look, shall we? You say it ends up here? Yes, and it's the same with my right knee, you see, when it starts going all hot and cold. <laughs> Look, uh, I tell you what, we've got a specialist here, uh, a colleague of mine. Uh, he might be able to help you. Oh, good, good. I've never seen a specialist before. I'd like that. Good. Well, I'll just give him a ring. <clears throat> Uh, could you believe Dr. Bingham for me? Uh, Dr. Art. I'd like his advice on a patient. And ask him to come to the ear, nose and throat department, please. Thank you. Bye. And shall I tell him about the pains in the heart during the sevenfold amen? <laughs> Him. Yes, a very interesting case. Um, I haven't been able to get anywhere with him, so I thought I'd transfer him to you. Uh, you being in surgery. True, true. Well, uh, good night. Yes. Well, uh, I'll soon find out what's wrong with him. Ah, good evening. Uh, oh, Reverend Brisket, uh, I believe that you're a specialist. Well, yes, in a way. Good. Listen to this. No pain at all. Get away in here. Two pipes, please, Harry. So, how was general practice? Terrible. Same as EMT. It's not the work. It's just too much of it. I won't stick it for six months. Forty patients I had. Thank God it's only a local. Oh, here's Dick. Well, at least one of us is doing okay. Oh, yes, he probably got up in time to treat a couple of rich old ladies before lunch. Uh, what'll it be, sir? Champagne, or are you sick of that already? Did either of you two know there was a Harley Street in Bethnal Green? <laughs> Just look at us. Here's to our glamorous careers. Yes, and I think that that creep Bingham's the one with the plum job. Hey, I've got something to show you two in EMT. Come on. Oh. Well, there, there's nothing wrong here. Your, 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 your symptoms seem perfectly normal. In fact, I, I can't find anything wrong with you at all. Maybe it is because I have only been singing single notes. Now, perhaps if I were to sing a whole song... No, well, I didn't think that's quite necessary. Oh, wandering minstrel, I a thing of strength. A magic of songs and snatches and dreamy lullaby. My catalog. Yes, but Reverend Brisket. Oh, it's the Reverend Brisket today, is it? Last month, <laughs> it was Lord Brisket, and the time before that, it was Chief Superintendent Brisket. Yes, but he's got this terrible problem. The with... only problem he's got is getting past the hospital porters. Once inside, there are plenty of idiot doctors only too happy to examine him. Come along, Mr. Brisket. Oh, one <laughs> stop this singing, Mr. Brisket. <laughs> Working in a teaching hospital like St. Swithin, you get to see all the interesting cases. <laughs>